how can your concepts about what is divine truth change? Well, we must understand that divine truth is God's absolute truth. Now, God's absolute truth never changes. These truths have been with God forever. God, in my opinion, exists infinitely. And as a result, the divine truth is infinite in number. There's an infinite number of divine truths. And it's infinite in terms of its time, the time in which it's existed. It's the oldest truth available to mankind and the newest truth available to mankind. And in the future will become the truth that's available to mankind. It is all the possible truth that's in existence. However, in discovering divine truth, we go through a process where we grow. We don't start off knowing everything. And because if we did, we'd actually be God. We don't start off knowing everything. In fact, when we first incarnate onto this planet, we start off knowing nothing. And we go through an experience of gaining knowledge about all sorts of matters, all sorts of truths that we start absorbing into our soul. That being the case, at any one snapshot in time, I might know some divine truth, but I don't know it all. And I definitely do not know it all. I definitely only know some. Mm -hmm. In fact, my, in my estimation, I know very, very little mm -hmm. divine truth, actually. And I feel that there is an infinite amount of divine truth available to me still, available for me to learn. I've learned how to learn it. And that's this process with God, receiving divine love that expands the soul, expands the intellectual, emotional capacity, so you're able to understand things that you couldn't previously understand. So I understand that process. I understand that if I engage that process continuously, I will continue to learn, I will continue to grow. But at any one point in time, I cannot say that I know all the truth. I only know a snapshot of the truth at that particular time, whatever I've learned up to that point in time. That being the case, tomorrow I may have to change my mind mm -hmm. because tomorrow I might learn a new truth, something that I've never discovered in the last 2,000 years of my existence and therefore I need to accept that new truth if I'm going to become closer to God and I would personally choose to accept it that's been my nature. I want to accept truth to become closer to God. And sometimes the truth is really hard to accept. And I've still wanted to accept it because I want to get closer to God. Now, in that process, we need to understand that this is one of the qualities of divine truth. One of the qualities of God's absolute truth is we are forever going to be discovering more of it. We can never say that there is a book or a person who knows it all. Because there will never be a book nor a person who knows it all, mm -hmm. unless that being is God and God writes, personally writes the book. Mm -hmm. And my feeling is that God, the way God's written the book is by writing the universe. The, the, the universe is God's expression of divine truth to the universe of God's creation. And, and we all, it's a book with, with many billions and billions and billions. It's an infinite number of pages available. And we can investigate divine truth in any aspect and we'll find billions of things about those, but that particular aspect in time because it's infinite. And at any one point in time, I can only know a finite amount of it. So bearing that in mind, I will make mistakes. I will have to accept new truths in the future. I can't say at this point in time that this is the particular, that it is all there is to know on a particular subject because it's impossible to say that. I don't know whether it's all there is to know on a particular subject. All I can do is share what is to know on the subject that I have learned already, mm -hmm. and then try to find out more about that particular subject. That's all I can do. And that's all anyone can do, in fact. The big mistake we make is when we believe we know it all. That is such an arrogant position. It is impossible to know it all without being God. And I do not believe ever any of us will ever become God. I know the whole New Age philosophy is that we are all gods. I cannot agree. We will become more and more like God. We will all become more and more perfected by God and we'll have more and more knowledge available if we follow the process that God has designed to, to assimilate knowledge. But we will never be God because there, there is only ever one person who created us. And we're never the person who's created ourselves. 
God creates other beings and God's created us. That person being God is always going to be in a unique position with us, being our father and mother. We are never going to have the same position, ever. No matter what we learn and no matter how much we progress, we will never have the unique position of knowing everything. Mm -hmm. But it is really fun getting to know as much as we can about God and the universe and, and how our soul engages because the more we engage it and particularly once we become at one with God, it's just all fun. It's just all engaging and we very rarely, we don't make mistakes in the sense of, you know, errors in judgment that are out of harmony with love because everything we do is in harmony with love. We just absorb more and more and more knowledge and truth and love as we progress and after that it becomes very enjoyable. The difficult part of progression is the time when we're in a condition where we have all these errors getting to the point of perfection. That is the most difficult part of our progression and the part that's fraught with the most dangers. Mm -hmm. yeah.